Welcome back fam to episode 3 of our New Zealand road trip vlog. If you haven't watched the first two videos, please do yourself a favor and check it out. In this vlog, you will journey with us from Christchurch to the Mackenzie region. So we made a lot of stops along the way because the views were breathtaking. We decided that we wanted to see the Rakaya Gorge. The view towards the gorge was stunning. It was like a postcard. One thing about New Zealand is that it will not disappoint you with the views. So we stopped along the roadside to take in the views of the gorge. We ended up hiking down for a close-up. We thought we'd be there for a few minutes, but we ended up spending more than an hour. The gorge was so beautiful, we had to send a drone up. If you ever come to this gorge and you're driving a camper van, no worries, there is a camping ground close by. You can also do jet boating if that's up your lane. We then headed to Lake Tekepo for the night to check out the night skies and the beautiful lake. Here is a room tour of the Airbnb we stayed for the night. It was about 10 minutes walk away from the lake. So after we checked in, we decided we wanted to see Lake Pukaki again because when we were heading to Christchurch, it was a very cloudy day and the views were not as epic as we knew it could have been. You have to see this lake in person at least once in your lifetime. In person, it was spectacular. The camera doesn't do it no justice. So we then head back into town to check out the very famous church of the Good Shepherd. I could sit around and wait all day. You lay easy on my The Church of the Good Shepherd is one of the most iconic places in New Zealand. It was built in 1935 as a memorial church to commemorate early settlers.
After walking around, we met a lovely tourist who offered to take some photos of us. So the lake is usually blue, but we got to Lake Tekepo late in the evening, so it looks kind of darker. So a side note if you decide to stay for the night in Lake Tekepo, please get dinner before 7 p.m. because most restaurants, they close pretty early and you will be out of luck. After dinner, we stayed up to watch the night sky, and it was stunning. The next morning, we headed out to do one of the most popular hikes in the Makenji region. The Ukar Valley track was one of our most memorable experience of this trip. The track is around 3 hours or more round trip because you will certainly stop many times along the way to take in the amazing views. If you're not a hiker, you will still be able to do this walk. The trail was well paved, so you won't have to worry too much. Make sure you bring sunscreen, a hat, because it sure does get hot. The earlier you do this hike, the better it will be for you. The more we walk, the more amazing the views got. You'll have to walk over three swing bridges and that was an experience in itself. Personally on a windy day, this bridge will be a no-no for me. As we were walking across, the bridge was bouncing and moving. But there's a trick to it when you're walking. The morning started out very chilly, but as we get closer to the top, we started to get very warm.
this was a pretty fun hike. Everyone that was passing was very polite. They were encouraging each other. It's either hello, good morning, I or Kiora. Whilst walking up the hike, we saw an older lady with two walking stick along the hike. Man, that really encouraged us to push on. We told ourselves that if this lady had made it so far, we can definitely do it to the top. So after we crossed our third and final bridge, we knew we were close to the top. We finally made it to the glacier lake and it was worth it. With Mount Cook in the back, it was spectacular. Some folks brought food for a picnic, so that's an option too. We just chill for a bit because we had to continue our journey back to Queenstown. The views at the top are stunning. It was another postcard moment. I had to take the view all in. So we completed the hike in about 2 hours and 45 minutes. We were moving pretty quick on our way down. I had to take my wife back. This was a great hike. We really enjoyed it and we will definitely do it again. Queenstown, here we come for more fun and adventure. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. Turn on your post notification so you will know when another video is out. Until next time fam, peace, one love and we'll see you in another time zone.